Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and uh, we talk about Windows 10 market share. Now we of course are close to May 1st on this Friday we'll talk about Windows market share overall. But uh, Windows 10 also has its own different versions. Where are they positioned in the uh, market share exactly? So if we look at Windows 10 around the world the version that has the most users is still the May 2019 update version 1903 which was released last year so 49.2 uh, percent almost half of Windows 10 users are on that version followed by Windows 10 November update which is the at 33.4 percent the good news well is that together they actually make a big chunk of 82.6%, um, which is pretty nice. So both versions of last year, people are, 82% of people are on one of those two versions, which is very good news for Microsoft. And, uh, you know, as we move on, it's pretty nice. April, um, April, October 2018 update uh, that has been actually uh, now, um, extended to uh, November of this year is 9.3%. So, you know, that's kind of interesting. On the insider side, 0.8% of Windows 10 users are insiders. So this is interesting. And so the uh, older versions, of course, 1709 and so on are uh, in a few percent. So this is uh, good news, I think, for Microsoft. I am a little surprised that people have not moved from the May to the November 2019 update faster because I mean 33% uh, it means that it's not really um, you know progressing at a very fast pace and um, so that kind of surprises me but at the same time not really since it's an optional update and most people don't go and you know click the optional updates that means that it's probably showing up in the Windows updates for a lot of computers People just don't see it and don't know that it's there. So, you know, we move on when we are at the end of a new version. So that's why this isn't pushed much. And that was a lot of what I was expecting when they started saying that the future updates were optional and not being forced on you unless you were at the end of the uh, support date for that version. So 82% are on, are on the uh, 2019 versions of Windows 10. That's pretty good. And I think it's uh, showing us uh, some really nice uh, upgrades for most people. And, you know, when we look at the uh, overall problem and background noise, also I think we can, tell, we can say that Microsoft has been really good at uh, making these versions very stable and very good. So let's hope that it continues like that with, um, you know, the new versions that will come out this year. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.